As a farmer, I am sure you realize that the soil is your greatest asset. If you're like me, you like to manage and protect your assets and make them work efficiently for you. Mismanaging the soil is like running gasoline in your new $250,000 piece of farm equipment. It's simply irresponsible. Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, the nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. Unfortunately, over the last 50 years, we have lost control and chemical fertility has been dominating agriculture. Plant nutrition has been oversimplified with NPK. Suppliers took over our soils with their testing, recommendations, and even applications. There became a huge disconnect between the farmers and the vital processes of managing their soils. Soon, someone else was mismanaging our soils, and we lost the vital knowledge and understanding of our soil minerals and the vital role the microorganisms play within them. At the present, we have the highest costs ever associated with farming. We have some of the poorest quality foods ever produced, lower yields, soils that are in their worst conditions chemically and mineral-wise. Rapid increase of diseases to place us in the U.S. near the bottom of the list in health rankings among the nations of the world. Agriculture has paid the highest possible price to be enslaved. You are paying the chemical and the biotech companies huge sums of money to destroy your soils. It's time we take back our farms. It's time to reinvest in and improve the health of the soil and make agriculture a sustainable industry once again. That's where we come in. Our mission is to educate the farmer, give you the knowledge, understanding, and the resources to make the correct changes to your soil, to improve the ongoing balance between soil minerals, soil biology, water, air, and plant interaction, and how these factors can work together to not only remediate the damaged soils, but also create sustainable systems that will produce healthy, nutrient-dense foods for centuries and millenniums to come. Our farmers have found success using the products and the programs developed by us. Their depleted soils are coming back to life. Yields are dramatically increased Diseases are decreasing, and most importantly, they are gaining an understanding and are reconnecting to their soils. We offer the knowledge, resources, and the systems to help you take back your farm, increase the efficiency of your soils, manage your expenses, and ultimately increase your bottom line. Your soils hold a vast reserve of minerals most of which are in an unavailable state. Properly balancing mineral ratios one to another in the soil will increase the availability already held within your soil structure. Fertility is the balance between the mineral ratios one to another. That reduces the need for off-farm purchases of refined and expensive fertilizers. Refined fertilizers are the largest year-to-year -year expense for farmers. These products often leach or tie up with other minerals in our soils, resulting in low uptake by the plants. Stabilizing and maintaining the fertilizers in a plant available form will increase the plant's ability to take it up when needed and reduce the need for additional inputs. There are major nutrients, NPK, secondary nutrients, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, and trace elements, manganese, iron, cobalt, copper, zinc, boron, and molybdenum, and some 65 more. Positively charged elements and compounds are cationic, and negatively charged elements and compounds are anionic. There are minerals that build plant structure and minerals that run plant functions. Learn what those are and how they work. Trace elements are the key to activating thousands of enzymatic functions in all living organisms. In fact, enzymes run every function in every living organism. We need them all operating and working to be healthy. Our products contain as many as 70 or more trace elements, not just five or six like most companies. 
Our minerals are properly chelated to make them highly available for immediate plant uptake, unlike most other companies' products. We also have the correct molecular size of our trace element products so they quickly diffuse through the plant's leaf or root membrane surfaces and into the plant for immediate use. Soil microorganisms are the key to the fertilizer and inorganic mineral held in our soils being converted into plant usable forms of nutrients. In addition, each type of plant requires a certain balance of biology in its root system to feed and protect it. Some plants require more bacteria than fungi. Other plants like a balance of bacteria to fungi, like your row crops and some plants require much higher concentrations of fungi than bacteria, like blueberries, grapes, fruit trees, deciduous and conifers. Getting the biology right is as important as getting the minerals right. Yet few farmers really look at the biology and the potential it offers in the following ways. Reducing soil compaction, nutrient cycling, free fertilizer, pathogen control, crop residue digestion, symbiotic and mutualistic organisms feeding plants, increasing air, water, and nutrient exchange, and more. There are some highly beneficial microorganisms that function on the leaf that can transfer nutrients from the air into a plant-available form, and others that protect the plant against airborne-type pathogens that can destroy the photosynthetic leaf surfaces and destroy fruit, vegetable, and seed production. Every plant has its own DNA and its own enzymatic systems to guide it through its vegetation or growth and then reproduction or fruiting stages. Consequently, each plant has its own diet of required minerals. Each plant progresses through a series of growth stages that require different minerals at different times. We will teach you how to identify these stages and get the most out of your plants towards yield and quality. Lagoons, settling ponds, and pits, the liquids, should all be treated with the proper anaerobic biology so the correct organisms are in charge of mineral retention and restructuring salt reduction, pathogen control, and more. And to avoid anaerobic putrefaction, wherein we lose minerals, our nitrogen, phos, potassium, carbon, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, and our trace elements. Putrefaction fosters pathogens and creates alcohols and aldehydes that kill plant cells and destroy beneficial soil microorganisms. These highly beneficial internal microorganisms do everything from breaking down food structures to increasing nutrient uptake, which is improved digestion, to creating enzymes that assist the immune and other metabolic systems, in addition to dealing with toxic compounds and controlling pathogenic growth of undesirable organisms and disease prevention and more. Using the right beneficial anaerobic biology can prevent molds and other pathogens from destroying your feed products and causing disease in the animals that eat spoiled or moldy feeds. They improve feed conversion, digestion, and add vital enzymes to the products they ferment. These beneficial organisms control heat, pH, and pathogen reproduction. Learn how to preserve high moisture forages, such as alfalfa and grasses, up to 50 or 60% and higher in bags and bales, square and round, without heat issues, molds, spoilage, and your animals will prefer this feed to anything else. Applications of these microbes to corn stalks are dramatically improving the quality of that feed. There is a huge difference, not only in the plants themselves, but also in the level of chemicals required to support each type of plant and how these chemicals affect the environment around them, the biology, other plants, animals, and mankind. Altering the gene structure alters proteins and enzyme formations, which then have a negative effect on other life forms. 
For GMOs, the input costs, maintenance costs, water efficiencies, disease susceptibility, reduced efficiency in production, along with the environmental and animal and human disease are all factors to consider. In addition, there will be less and less demand for these products in the future. If you can't degrade and decompose these long-term toxic compounds through biological remediation, cold metabolism through microbes, how will you get these toxins out of your soils so that you can produce a clean crop again that has markability? It's coming, and the farmers who learn to do this are going to be the ones that survive the transition in agriculture the best. We can show you how. We can offer more technologies and products than mentioned here, and numerous new developments are underway and in the process. We are always seeking to do things better, and research is a major factor as we look forward to the future. For us, there will always be a brighter tomorrow. Products are available to support all these endeavors. They are currently on the market, or we make them ourselves. We do not preach about a concept without fundamentally being able to back it up. We can add to your knowledge base and offer products and services to help you take back your farm.